Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Catskill Mountain Homebody. My name's Amy. I'm here with my pups today. Here's Chipper, and here comes Scout. Say hello, say hi. Say hi to the camera. Why don't you say hi to the camera? You say hi to the camera. <laughs> my plan for today's video is to take you guys on a tour of my guest room. And I have a surprise. I finished the cross stitch for my niece and I had it framed. So I'm going to unveil the finished cross stitch project that I've been working on diligently, especially in the last year. So we're going to go up the stairs and check out the guest room. What do you think, Chipper? Should we go upstairs and check the guest room out? You want to go upstairs? You want to show everybody how you know the word upstairs? Let's go upstairs. Let's go upstairs. Scout, you want to go upstairs? You want to go upstairs? Who wants to go upstairs? Let's go. Come on. If I start walking, you guys have to follow. I'm going upstairs. Who's going to follow me? I'm going to go up. I'm going up the stairs now. I'm going up. Oh, here comes Tripper. Scout, are you going to come upstairs? I'm going to go. Come on. I'm going up. Look, Chipper's coming. Chipper's coming upstairs. Come on, let's go. Yeah, you know how to go upstairs. Chipper's good at going upstairs. Aren't you? You like to come with mommy wherever I go. You so cute. on Amazon and it picks up on the color the turquoise color of the walls and it has elephants on it little gray and white elephants and it comes with it came with this throw pillow this pink elephant and then the elephants continue on to the to the pillows and so we have the elephants on the bedding. We have the elephant on the artwork. Also on Amazon, I found these paper elephants in pink, kind of a muted pink and blue and gray. And they're really a decoration for a baby shower, but I thought they would be cute on the windows in this room. And you can see these elephants from the outside of my house, from the street. So, all three of the windows in here, I strung up these paper elephants to kind of go along with the elephant theme of the room, which is cute. All right, in the corner, we have the printer. Um, this was the only place it would fit. Joe's office already has too much stuff in it, so unfortunately, that's where the printer is. That's okay. All right, this artwork is by Bernard, I think his name is Buff Buffet. I'll put his name in the description of the video. But this was a piece of artwork that I found in my uncle's house, and I don't even think he had it hung up. I think it was just like stuck somewhere in a closet. And after he passed away, I took it, and it's black and white, and it really kind of looks nice against the, the blue wall. So that's the only artwork I have on this wall here. Okay, the art desk I have had for many years because I like to do art projects. So this is just a basic art desk. It does tilt up if you want to do drawing. I don't really draw though. Um, I do have paints here because I do paint projects. 
This is an antique lamp that Joe rewired for me that was given to me by my maternal grandmother. And I actually have a matching one, but when I brought it to California, because she gave it to me many years ago, this top piece broke. So I have another lamp with just the base, and I need to find another top piece. But until then, I'm just using it in my guest room. This shelf, which is, i assuming, old, was left by the previous owners. They used to have it on the kitchen wall, where I have my grandparents' pictures. That's where they had the shelf. And I guess they had extra plates and cups and things on it, or books. Um, I had Joe hang it in here to give me extra storage over my craft desk. So I have my little doodads, pictures, more elephants. There's another elephant. <laughs> A Capa de Monte rose that my parents had that I took when they downsized. A couple banks that were Julius's when he was little, like my Peter Rabbit bank, which matches this room perfectly. I have art supplies and pencils over here. This is a little elephant magazine rack, book rack. These are just some stamps and one of my dollhouse toys. And this plate was left by the previous owners and it has the exact blue color of the walls in it. So I hung it up here and I think it looks really pretty. They also left me this plate this plate is another antique plate left by the previous owners. And it does, I forget the name of it when you have holes in your plate, but it has holes. And the, the color of this plate, the blue, exactly matches the color of the wall. So it really looks pretty in here. And then on this side, this is the closet. Years ago, when I was in my early 30s, my parents were getting rid of old artwork that we made which they had piles and piles of our old schoolwork and artwork, my brother and sister and I. So they picked three pieces to have framed and I think they threw the rest away. And this was the piece that they had framed for me. And it's my handprint made into a little plant with my name on some 70s paper. And then my parents had it framed with this cool frame that has different primary colors on it. It's kind of splashed on it. So I hung that in here. I really think it's cute in this room. And that's a good idea of what you can do with your kid's artwork. I did frame one of my favorite pictures that Julius made. And it's in my guest, my downstairs bathroom. I have a picture Julius made that I framed. I just have other pictures that I put in, in a scrapbook. But a lot of his old schoolwork I threw out because it was just too much. All right, the double doors are the closets. Nothing exciting in there. This is a guest room, so I don't really, I mainly keep wrapping paper and craft supplies in that closet. It's nothing that, nothing too exciting. I have my two pug Beanie Babies from the 90s. This was a bear that my mother had it's a in a peach dress and I thought it was cute would go well with this room so I took it when she downsized Joe made that home sweet home sign and I painted it to match the color of the wall with some yellow paint also so that's again a couple things and then I have a little tchotchkes you know little toys little doodads that I wanted to display and so for Christmas a couple years ago Joe got me this mirrored case and it has little boxes where you can put your little precious memories and so i have little old things like my little plastic munchy chi doll i have old ornaments little figurines and then up here my grandmother got these little plastic i think they're called mini kins or tiny kins and they are of the flintstones and you get them, you used to get them in a set, a set of five. And when I was little, my grandmother gave them to me. I think she just had them around. She probably got them in the 60s, they're from the 60s. And I've had them in a box in my closet for years and years. And I thought, you know, I want to display them. So I, I, ha I this, that was the main reason why I got this little case. And then I put other little, little doodads. Like here's a pin from the 60s 
of a little boy with like a gift. And that's actually a pin, you can wear it. I don't know who would wear that, but I don't even know where I got that from. Probably from my grandmother. So anyway, and then I bought these metal flowers from Amazon. You can order these in different colors. I ordered a pink one and a white one. And I thought those would look nice against the blue wall. And so that's my little collage there. The shades in here, you can either pull down from the top or you can pull them up from the bottom, but I keep them pulled down just to give a little light, but not direct sunlight. This is, this is the guest room. These side tables are actually filing cabinets that were left by the previous owners. And I use them, this is just empty. But if guests come, they can put their stuff in there. And the bottom one, I have a lot of kids books that I saved that I figured I can use with grandkids someday. Read to grandkids or to my, niece, my nieces that come over or any other kid that comes over. And I figured they would go be good as nightstands. All right, let's talk about the bed. Let me move this cross stitch out of the way. All right, let me just talk about the bed really quickly. This bed was left by the previous owners. I actually asked the previous owner if she would leave the bed for me. This was the only bed she left. The other beds, she had other beds in here that she took with her or sold. But I wanted this white bed because I thought it would be pretty against the blue I picked for the walls. And it is a wooden bed. It's very farmhouse style. So it's kind of a whitewashed um, bed. It's wood, solid wood. It's not the most expensive bed you've ever seen. It's actually a little wobbly, but it is a perfect size to fit between the windows. And I don't think it's a queen. I think it's a full, but it might be a queen. I'm not 100% sure. My queen sheets fit on it pretty well. And so, yeah, we didn't buy the nightstands or the bed for this room or that shelf or this shelf. This was all left by the previous owners. And so that was pretty fortunate that we were able to get the bed and the, and I didn't even ask for those, for those filing cabinets. She just left them. So I thought those are perfect nightstands. Now, if you look at my bedding, there is white polka dots against a gray background for part of it. If you look at these polka dots here, I really thought that was pretty and I wanted to pick up on that. So I ordered this beanbag chair with the white polka dots and the gray. And it's actually not a beanbag chair. It's actually a storage chair. So I have extra bedding in there and stuffed animals that I didn't want to get dusty that I just put in there. You can actually unzip it and stick things in there. So it's storage and an extra little beanbag chair for anyone who wants to sit on it and read a book. And I, again, I kept in mind children in this room because I envision someday that there'll be grandkids staying in here. I also found this little rug in Amazon a little, again, a white polka dot rug with a gray background that I thought would be cute in front of the bed. And I don't have any other rugs in here. It just has the old wood floor. Someday maybe I'll order more polka dot rugs for the sides of the bed, but for now I don't have any other rugs in here. All right, now that we have had a tour of my guest room, I wanna give you an update on my cross stitch project. So let's look at it. I had it framed. All right, so. I had this framed at Michael's, which is a craft store, with a simple white frame with a little pink border to kind of pick up on the pink of the lettering and also contrast with the purple lettering of her name. So this is a cross stitch I've been working on for a long time for my niece and it has her birth date and how much she weighed and her name. And I'm gonna be gifting this to her for uh, probably Christmas with other things. Her sister got one. Her sister got a birth announcement from me years ago. 
now it was turn time for her for Megan to get one. All right, I'll put in here the footage of where I started with this cross stitch project, so you can kind of go back and see where it was, and then you'll see how far we've come. Let's see the progress I made on my cross stitch. So I'll show you that. All right, so first I'll remind you what it's supposed to look like. That's the design. It's very simple. I'm doing it in pink. So you can see the pink version here. So my letters are gonna be in pink and gray. And everything else is the same. The last time I showed you my progress, I only had the letters M and O stitch, and I had like three stitches in the corner. All right, now, I have kept my summer, res my summer resolution to do an hour of stitching every night. I have kept that promise since I made it last week. Hasn't been that long, but I have made progress. So let's see how far I've come here. Look at that, I wrote, I got the word moon and back stitched, and I have done a big part of the moon. Then I'm gonna start working on the to the and love you. So it is coming along. So as you can see, it's come very far and I'm very, very happy that I finished this cross stitch project and it's ready to be gifted. All right, now you've seen the guest room and the update on my cross stitch. All right, that's where I'll leave this video. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. If you like farmhouse style or videos on crafts or baking and cooking, please consider subscribing to my channel, Catskill Mountain Homebody. Thanks for joining me today and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.